what's up Sailor Guardians! Welcome back to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon merch reviews, how-tos, and news. Way back in 2022, I know this was a long time ago, there were some really cute backpacks that were released by a company called Sprayground. Each of these backpacks sold out relatively quickly, but I did happen to get all three of them in hand. Now since I have traveled quite a bit for the past two years, I have checked out each of these backpacks as a travel companion so that I can give you a solid review of them and let you know whether or not they are worth the resale value. Oftentimes you can find these backpacks new via reseller websites and marketplaces, so if you are interested in any of these then you can definitely still find them. But if you are shopping on the Sprayground website at the time of recording they are sold out. So I have three different backpacks to show you today. I will show you the differences as well as the sizing comparisons and a little bit of pro tips that I have learned since I have used these for such a long time now. Now this first backpack is also the newest one that I have purchased. I did still have the tags for these so even though I have taken it on trips I was able to put those back on here so you can see exactly what it looks like when you purchase one brand new. Now this one is called the Sailor Moon Wink Backpack DLXV. It was $80 MSRP and the dimensions of this one are 18 inches by 6 inches by 11.5 inches. DLXV means fake leather or faux leather. So instead of having a cloth material, you'll notice that this one is more shiny on the front of it, which will make it very easy to clean if you are ever taking this out and about and you get it messy. This also makes this backpack kind of water resistant too, as it is made out of this faux leather. So at the bottom, we have the English Sailor Moon logo in this rubberized 3D texture, as well as the spray ground logo. We we have a moon stick as well as the famous art that we have also seen in the Vans collaboration here in the United States. On the front is also, and I left the plastic on here, but these are nice little gold pull tabs. They're really easy to pull and you have this front zippered pocket that you can put flat items in really easily. It's nice and big too, so there's plenty of space for whatever you want to put in the front pocket. Both sides of the backpack feature places that you can put your water tumbler or your water bottle. Each of these do have Velcro on them, so if you have a water bottle that has stickers on it, just be aware that there's Velcro inside these pockets and be careful when you're putting your bottles in there so that you don't scratch up your stickers. You'll find the same exact type of pocket on both sides. The back of this backpack is really nice. It features adjustable straps and both of these are relatively breathable too because they have this mesh lining. There's also a padded section on the back of this so whenever you are wearing it and maybe you've piled in a lot of stuff in here it is pretty comfortable to wear. Now this is pretty cool. If you look at the back Next to the padded material, there's this little hidden zippered compartment where you can put any kind of private items. So in here it says, congratulations, you found the infamous stash pocket. Don't tell anybody. Shh. This is a pretty big stash pocket. It goes all the way up to the top here. So you can put lots of flat items in here and kind of hide them away. When you are ready to travel with this backpack, unzip the bottom and you'll be able to slide this backpack on top of your rolling bag via the luggage handrail. It does slide all the way to the top. I've used this on my away carry-on many times. So that way you can still grab the luggage handrail at the very top and be able to pull this around with you so that you don't have to wear this on your back the whole time. This backpack also has up at the top a little section for your sunglasses right at the handle. And the interior is quite large. So there's space at the back for a tablet or a laptop. Again, consider the dimensions before putting anything in here or purchasing it specifically for a larger laptop. I have been able to fit a 15 inch Alienware laptop in here, so it is definitely large enough. There's a front mesh compartment as well as a back compartment too. So this is the first backpack, again, that was 80 bucks for this fake leather version. The next one I have is called the Sailor Moon on the Run backpack, which costs $65. Now this one's dimensions are 18 inches by six inches by 11.5 inches. And instead of being made out of that fake leather material, in this case, we have a polyester material, which is not water. Proof. So just like the previous one, this one also has that padded material on the back. You still get that private slot for anything that you want to hide on your back. And these are both padded and adjustable too. This one also features the slide for your luggage handrail. And both sides have the water bottle compartments. And both of those do have Velcro again too. Now this one has a much smaller compartment on the front, which is just big enough to like fit a passport or maybe a small 
set of tickets or something small that you wanna put in the front here. Nothing large though. We still have the same sunglasses compartment at the top and the interior of this one also has the mesh compartment on the front, which is zippered. And there is that soft velour compartment for your laptop or your tablet in the back. Now in this case, we also have a mesh compartment on the back frame too, alongside with that laptop compartment. Now on each of the backpacks, there is a little keychain holder here. I usually put hand sanitizer on there, something really simple that I need a lot of access to whenever I'm traveling. Now this is the last backpack I wanted to show you and the one that is no longer on their website whatsoever. This last backpack is called their DLXR backpack, which denotes a specific fabric as well. So in this case, the DLXR means it's 100% recycled polyester fabric, which was made out of recycled water bottles collected from the ocean, which I think is really, really cool. The dimensions on this one are the same as the previous one. So 18 by six by 11.5. This one is going to have a lot of similar materials, but the zipper compartment on the front is going to be the major difference between this one and the other polyester material backpack. Originally, this one also went for $65. So this one has, again, that larger front space, just like the faux leather version of the backpack. This one also has two water bottle compartments on both sides. You have the space for your sunglasses, and I will mention that all of them have this really soft plushy material for your sunglasses, which is very nice. We have the keychain again, and this one also has the nice plush backing as well as the adjustable straps. Uh, mine does have some stuff on it because I recently took it on a trip. I have not cleaned it yet. I actually spilled like a whole bottle of soda inside this thing, which was kind of sad, but it's, it looks fine, so it's okay. Again, we have the secret compartment and we have the luggage slide through compartment to the sleeve. The interior of this one is almost exactly the same as the Sailor Moon on the Run version. So we still have the mesh interior on the front. There's the mesh space on the back, as well as the laptop section at the very back of the interior panel. So now that you've seen all three of the backpacks, I have been using these for the past two years as one of my carry-on whenever I go on trips. These are not going to be as big as a lot of your travel or hiking backpacks that you can generally find from other companies, but they do have the aesthetics and they do have the compartments that I was looking for whenever I need to travel. I do wish that the two water bottle compartments did not have Velcro. I don't think that the Velcro was necessary. I do really appreciate though the nice high quality material that these were all made out of, and I also feel like they are very durable. I have use these for a lot of trips and I fill them all the way to the top, especially when I'm traveling home after buying a bunch of souvenirs. And even if I have this thing packed to the brim with, with all sorts of souvenirs, all sorts of carry-on things that I need for planes, my laptop or a tablet or my Kindle or what have you, they just last. They seem to last really well. I haven't noticed any major issues with any kind of tearing against the straps that you put on your back, especially if you're carrying a lot of weight inside this backpack. And overall, they have been a wonderful travel companion. Now, currently online, you can usually find these spray ground backpacks for a lot of money. So if you are considering purchasing one of these, I would definitely recommend waiting until you can find one at a decent price because currently these go for around $100 130 to $180 for a new backpack. That's a lot of money given that these started at 65 to 80. But if you are looking for something that is high quality, then I did wanna make this really short and sweet video so that you know about these backpacks and you know about their actual materials and how it is to travel with one. I do recommend them. I think that they are wonderful backpacks and it's something that I'm gonna to continue to use in my day to day for all my travels. And I travel at least once per month, at least. So I've been using them quite a lot. So then yes, I would recommend them. Now, if you have any questions about these backpacks or any other items in the Sailor Moon merchandise collection sphere, then let me know. I'm always happy to help with reviewing these items and letting you know if they are worth the money. So don't forget to subscribe. Definitely check out my Instagram for news. I always post news there first. It's Sailor Snubs over on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Jenny.